everybody, welcome to Easy Update. This week I'm looking at the final game by Zaktronics. They decided to be done. Kind of just... No drama, I guess. They're just done now. Look into it if you're interested in that. They made Exapunks TIS-800 or TIS-100. I was thinking of Terminator T-800. The TIS-100 and Ironclad Tactics among a bunch others. Those are the three I think I've tried. Um, yeah, and this is like a combination of puzzle games, I guess? I've never... I don't know. I'm going in blind here, going in raw. Okay, here's just solitaire. It's just standard solitaire? Here's a rip roar and easy update for you. <laughs> Can you stack like that? No, so it's not like flip solitaire. We're screwed! Netronics connect? <laughs> Whoa. I started the BBS thinking no one would really use it, so imagine my surprise when the first user dialed in. Then the next, then the next. I like to think it was my big community success story, although you can't argue with the free downloads either. People used to call that wares, and the computer industry called it illegal piracy. I won't try to justify it. I just wanted to share the cool stuff I found a lot of which you couldn't get any other way. For a while, Last Call was about as big a BBS as you could find in the Kansas City area. That was important in the era of long distance telephone fees. This was the welcome that showed up before I started recording here. This is my old Sawa Sawayama machine, all set up like it was back then. I even got the BBS running again so you can dial in and download more of these retro games. <laughs> I have to admit, I'm still getting used to that term. Anyway, the story of all this stuff is also a story about people, so I wrote a few notes about how I came across these things and whatever else came to mind as I was getting it ready. You might find it interesting, you might not. Either way, that's so fun. So, okay, it's like a... I don't know what BBS means. Uh, 20th Century Food Court, Dungeons & Diagrams, Steed Force Hobby Studio, Kuba Fuda Solitaire, X B P G the hidden path, forbidden path, hack match rom emulator, chip wizard. 20th century food court seems appealing to me. See if you can make food for people in the future in this factory game from Zach Maddox. Definitely a weird premise, but when you try, uh, you might try and enjoy it, blah, blah, blah. Is it actually downloading it or is this just part of the game? So that's why they gave us a solitaire game, I guess. Rewriting my brain to do normal solitaire rules. But if you like if you like solitaire, check out Flip Flop Solitaire. It's actually pretty interesting. Aha! 20th century food court. You've reached your download quota? Okay. This feels like the old days of computers. I'm really into this. The 20th century experience takes special care to present authentic recreations of the simple but hearty meals humans ate during this period. Pretzels and nachos, foods from opposite ends of the earth, co-mingle harmoniously in this demonstration of the sheer power and scale of the 20th centuries. Okay. Oh my god, okay, what's happening? Hey, this is just like, um that signal state game. Instructions. Left click, left click, control left click, right click. Rotate, shift, okay. S trays, ingredients, okay. Wire a stacker to itself to make it eject after stacking. Good god, okay. Alright, deliver to the output. Complete all orders. Okay, so they want nachos right now. <laughs> what the f- Oh, okay, there we go. Okay. Alright, we're getting it now, we're getting it. There's no product beneath- Okay. Well, the product has to come out. But I have to stack them on the tray first. What the hell? So you have to get there first. So maybe it's you start with the nacho and then a nacho causes cheese? 
to happen. And then we have to have this get to it first. How do I add another step? This doesn't make sense. Okay. So that was correct. Well, it was closer anyway. Alright, but that's getting powered once the stack is stacked. Okay, so if it scans it and it's a nacho, we want the cheese to happen. This is really crazy. You have to set up a lot of logic for this. I want you to get there first, please. Okay. Oh, can they be at the same time? We got there! We got there! Oh my god, that took forever. Okay, but now this is a... Yeah, okay, so... We're gonna need a, the pretzel machine to puke out a pretzel here. Okay. So, if you're a pretzel... Okay, that worked. No cheese. We did! <laughs> God, okay. That took forever. We're figuring it out. We figured that out. Hot Pocket Experience. I had to include a game by Zach Maddox in this little co collection. They were an odd, odd duck in a whole lake full of odd ducks. In those early days, there wasn't as much common wisdom about what computer games should be, so you saw all kinds of approaches that would seem bizarre today. Imagine a whole studio dedicated to making games where you basically had to do computer programming to beat them. Quite niche, right? That was a fun game, I want to play more of that one. But, this is a collection, and there are a bunch of other games to try. I feel like this thing's gotta be filled with secrets, dude, this game. Up to the minute, stock quotes. <laughs> this one seems interesting. Five? What is it? Grow weird flesh sculptures in order to escape death. I don't think many people played this game when it came out. The ideas and presentation are pretty out there. Honestly, though, it's worth the experience, even if it's a little hard to figure out. Lots of folks are scared by the idea that uh, they might not be around forever. Are you? How far would you go in a quest for immortality? Bar keeps difficulty rating three. Three minutes. Such a funny thing this game is. So can I play Food Court while it's downloading? The original Hot Pocket experience. What kind of a thing are you? Are you a heater? Oh, okay. Countdown timer? Microwave the pocket. Eject when cooked. Stack on tray. Deliver. So we have to make the Hot Pockets hot. What are you? Alright, we need a stacker. We need... What is this? Is this the freezer? That must be the freezer. So wait, we need to... Microwave the pocket. Okay, yeah, tray, pocket. So that's the freezer. And the tray we need to put after... How long do you need to be microwaved for? It says four here. Okay, so it just... Goes into the microwave, pocket, okay, oven, sense. Okay. No idea if this is gonna happen. Okay, no pocket came out. Start. Pocket. Okay. Two. Oh, it worked! Ha <laughs> ha! That one we did way better! <laughs> Yo, I like this. Okay, but let's see if our other download is done. Wine o'clock. God, there's so many, dude. This is great. All right. Gerberth the Forbidden Path has been downloaded. This is great. 
I love these. This is so much like an old torrent or whatever, where it just had like a weird <laughs> intro thing for, oh man. Cool design already. Build the immortal body, work the immortal flesh. Okay. I mean, the dream, right? <laughs> what the hell am I looking at? Okay. <laughs> what? Grow the seed into this. Okay. This is already... Where does the seed begin from? Okay, so we just need skin on everything? <laughs> what? <laughs> Alright. Ignore or divide? Okay. This seed becomes skin. What? Alright. What? <laughs> okay. I want this this skin to be this shape right here, right? Or does the seed have to... Okay, what the hell? <laughs> How do I, like, s run the simulation? Okay. I don't know what ha I'm doing. Hopefully this doesn't have to be... I mean, like, if, I, if it just does the shape, then I would want it to... Oh, but it's in the middle. Okay, this is not probably correct. Go! Activate! <laughs> How do I make it go? Like, do something? So these are clearly like steps on a sequence or something. Specialize. So I'm wondering if we need to fill it with seed first. Seed. Divide. So maybe we make this seed, you know, grow. And then I want to do the next step. Okay, so then the next step would be to divide down. What the hell? <laughs> if I'm understanding this correctly, it seems like we're setting steps of the sequence and then we just need to make it go somehow. Oh, okay. So that's the first step. And then the rest are showing what it's doing. Okay, good. So this is correct. So now we would need it to divide down one more. Oh, okay. Now we need skin to grow up. Oh no, wait, we need the seed to go over one more. Yes, okay, so by the end of it, that's what we're looking at. And now we need skin to go over the seed. Can we do that? Can we go backwards like that? Or does it have to be skin? Okay, this is getting interesting. I still am not fully sure what's going on, but so our step one, Okay, yeah, step one is grow over. Step two, skin? No. Step two, grow down. How do I make you grow skin, though? Okay, uh, so nothing I do here seems to... Okay, that destroys everything. Okay, cool. Just changing this? Yes. So it seems to keep going. How do I make you become skin? What do these signify? That's got a green. These are green. What does this square mean? Or triangle, I mean. Okay, well that fricked it up. How do I make you grow into skin? Okay, that? Huh. Picking stuff at random. Does this one, two, three, four have something to do with it? So maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, okay. Huh? And that corresponds to that lit up thing maybe good lord so this one is somehow that i have to go to therapy in a second <laughs> all right well this is really cool but we need to dive into it more later this is really cool obviously there are a few more games uh check it out this game is neat and it's the last game from zachtronics uh i'm interested to play more of this okay bye <laughs>